Fahrenheit-wise, it's only supposed to go down to 31 tonight, but it's still below freezing. And I am thinking that maybe for the winter, putting the heater on the side where they have the solid floor would make them more comfortable. I think, I think Dooster simply overmated Penny. I don't think it was an attack. Um, but Henny fights harder than most of them do. I got two eggs in here. Thank you. For the eggs. I'll put them up top. But I'm thinking that this heat lamp might be good to hang it um, over here in the enclosed area. <clears throat> All these wires tweedled up over here. I gotta fix that. Now, I took your worms. I don't know. That, yeah, that seems like it'll be safe enough. And since I took your worms, I'm going to take your rock, too. You don't need an extra thing on the floor if it's not a heat collecting item. Oh, I gave you worms. So, yeah, I wonder if the, the reduced stress, perhaps, reducing the stress by... giving them a fully enclosed warm spot might help. I'm also interested in having um, having one of those really big plastic tubs like set up in the basement for them. Because a really big plastic tub is not that much smaller than this housing. And I have enough wood chips. And I could just cut the roof off of it like the brooder. And that way everybody could just live in the basement in the wintertime if it gets rough. Everybody except the roosters. Now you guys do know, right? That it's coming up on time to harvest the roosters. And from the looks of it, that's going to include Roosty Roo. Our OG. So, um, freezer camp time, you know. I just want everybody to know that that's coming up. They only live two years, and, um, I'm just gonna try and make sure they only have one bad day, basically, as best I can. <sighs> and if we get more hens in the next round, I don't think Henny Penny's gonna be a long term resident either, because she's just teaching everybody else really bad habits, but I do need you to know that this is truly, you know, some homestead stuff type of thing. These are livestock. We've got them for eggs, but I've also got them for meat. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but that crescent moon over there is really pretty. I know video never does it justice, but that's cool. It's there. That's the moon. So, yeah, Henny Penny's inside, sitting in her little box, sulking. But once she heals up, she can come back out. Should be fine. Uh, just kind of exhausting, always dealing with it. Roosty is a little rough, but he's not rough for a quail. But Henny Penny is absolutely off the rails about avoiding roosters and she learned that from being the only hen out of a batch of five and me not knowing how to figure out which ones were roosters and which ones were hens is it just me or did that airplane's lights come out of nowhere over there that's an airplane 
and I swear that light wasn't there and then it was. That was bizarre. Maybe it turned and just started pointing at me. That was weird. There's always an airplane that looks like a star because it don't move for a while. And then they turn. It's part of their flight pattern. The moon's the cool thing. So, yep, them are the end of the day quail updates, I suppose. Um, because quail harvesting is still so very new to me, it is a hard thing for me to decide to take a day and do, and I have a bit of downtime afterwards, but it's a skill set that I have always wanted to have, and it's one I'm proud of, but um, I guess I'm also, like others on YouTube, kind of nervous that that people won't uh, understand. But I, I think yens are here for permaculture. I think you do understand. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep rolling with this. Yep, yep. Next thing I need to do is figure out how to get a egg egg tilter. Do you have to until you're ready to put them in the incubator you have to keep them pointy side down and angle them 40 like uh, 30 or something degree angle each direction twice a day and I'd rather just have that on a big like paddle that I can push back and forth wow that moon is beautiful I know you can't tell to the extent I can but holy goodness gracious it's pretty whole sky's really pretty and that's even with like a big bright floodlight on the porch. You ready? It's gonna be in view really soon. Even with that, that's crazy. It's still, I can see a lot of the stars. Yeah, I got a good vantage point for stars out here. It's nice. So, yep, gonna turn around. There's the light again. I think I warned you late. I think the light was already there when I warned you, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just giving the birds the opportunity to be warm enough to be comfortable and not get stressed out. Gotta refill the water again, I guess. It's about halfway full. This little thing is working out really well. If I had more quail than this, I'd need to have two. It empties out really quick. But it is definitely not freezing. It's doing really well. And... Other than Henny Penny, everybody else is doing really good. So that's nice to see. This one, Cricket that took a walk, the brown bird you can see right now, has kind of like feathers missing off her back. And that does seem to be where Roosty grabs her. So that might be why. Bunny's got a little dent in her hair. But, you know, as long as they don't fight too hard, then Roosty probably won't hurt them too bad. And we could always bring Roosty Roo back, too. There's Dooster. Trying to, trying to get with the ladies. Or just stare at the ladies. What are you doing, crazy? Is that your mating dance? What are you doing? You just running around in circles for no reason? Shump. Back in the box. Okay. Yeah, it's not your mating dance. What are you even doing? You're weird. Dooster, you're a wackadoo. Oh. Nope. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> this is silly. This is so silly. Dooster, you're back. You're back, Dooster. What are you doing? Oh, nice crow. You trying to mate? Hey! Don't do it. Don't peck. <sighs> He's 
getting really rough with them. I don't know. Maybe he is being rough. Oh, see? She'll tell you where to go. She'll say, don't peck me. And then you'll be the one hurting, huh? Good news is that eggs stay fertile for a full week after one mating. So I could take them out and still hatch out some eggs. If you're just having a bad week. Behavior-wise. Yep. Well, I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. The subfloor is still full of poo. Because I still need to get different fencing on there for the uh, predator proofing. I would venture to say that people who don't have double metal floors on their wire fencing, uh, if their feet are getting injured, it's probably because predators are reaching up through and scratching the feet. And the double flooring is really important, but I would not recommend the second floor also be half by half. Because it's catching, and it's I can't get in there because it's predator-proof, it, which, that's me too, it's also me-proof. Anyhow, if you want to continue to follow up on the fail, quail, please, uh, not fail, just quail, please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for being here. Take care. Bye.